Toronto Public Health confirmed that a young child in this city has died due to a COVID-19 related illness. And tonight, a message from hospitals across Ontario to expectant mothers. This message, this statement is intended to raise awareness that um, these hospitalizations are preventable and they're preventable uh, with maternal immunization, so immunization against COVID during pregnancy. Dr. Kirk Lifeso is a pediatric infectious disease physician at Kingston Health Sciences Centre. He and his colleagues are closely watching six infants who've been admitted to hospitals in Hamilton and Ottawa with COVID-19. One of the common features um, in their history was that they had been born to mums who had not been vaccinated in pregnancy. Dr. Lifeso notes that historically newborns whose birth parent is unvaccinated can at times become seriously ill with preventable diseases. We know from uh, a lot of experience with immunization uh, against other respiratory infections like influenza and like pertussis, which we've been doing for uh, quite a while, that vaccination or booster vaccination in pregnancy um, reduces the likelihood that the baby early on will be admitted to hospital with severe infection. This recent data provided by Ontario Public Health shows that children aged four and under who are too young to receive a COVID vaccine have the highest hospitalization rate among children and even teenagers. So is there something about the Omicron variant that is sending more babies and toddlers to hospital? Toronto's Medical Officer of Health is unsure. There is still much to, for us to really understand in respect of the Omicron variant. As I mentioned earlier, it's only actually been with us in this community for a few weeks. And in fact, it was only identified uh, in the world uh, in, in mid-November. Even with public health's confirmation that a young Toronto child has tragically died, medical experts are quick to point out that only a small percentage of children with COVID experience serious symptoms and need hospital care. Though due to just how transmissible the new COVID variant is, a small percentage of a large number can still mean a lot of cases. I think it's a numbers game. Um, you know, we, we have uh, experienced now, you know, from different countries who have gone through this explosion uh, before us, that really doesn't suggest, uh, at least in children, that Omicron is, is different than Delta or Alpha. Any parents who are expecting to have a baby who have questions about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine are encouraged to reach out to their doctor. We also have multiple resources posted on our website. You can find them on citynews.ca slash extras. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.